Hi, this is Bob Langies from Medlin Communications. And this short video is to talk about using the asterisk to connect a PRI to a legacy PBX. So the problem we want to solve is we have a, an older PBX with a bunch of analog lines and we want to get some uh, less expensive either PRI or SIP trunking uh, to give our company just, uh, I guess, the ability to use the more competitive price structure that these things offer. And uh, the potential solution here is why not use an asterisk solution as a gateway device instead of a voice over IP phone system. The way that it lays out is you have your existing Nortel PBX here, which you could, if you wanted to, just put a PRI upgrade into that box. Uh, however, your cost would be more than we're going to talk about here. And uh, you're buying parts for an outdated uh, phone system that if you have any kind of failure, you're not going to fix. You're probably just going to want to replace that box. So what we're proposing that you do is you get your PRI line from whoever you want to, Simco, XO, Firstcom, and we feed it into this Astra service, server platform that we have here. And in that platform, we're able to define routes and, and all the routing logic that we need to send the calls out over these 24 analog ports to your existing Nortel PBX. So essentially what we'll do is we will mimic the behavior of your existing analog hunt groups and we'll send uh, caller ID to the Nortel if the Nortel could take it and uh, the phones will ring and operate like they do today. From an outbound side what we're going to do when your callers pick up a phone and they press 9 uh, the Nortel is going to swing over here to the asterisk uh, grab a line and we're going to route that call right out to the network. Now what you'll see with this solution or any time you'd add a PRI to the solution is the addition of a little bit of delay as um, your Analog ports today are a pretty direct connection to a switch, uh, and a PRI is more of a logical uh, data kind of connection, so it introduces just a little bit of, of delay. Uh, one of the things that uh, we talked about too is the possibility of adding network faxing, and this Astra server platform supports that uh, by default. So uh, we're not going to use any voice over IP, but we will be able to get you some new DID numbers on that PRI, PRI line and use that throughout faxes to your users on using your existing network. So what you're going to get out of this would be of course to use less expensive phone services. You're going to be able to uh, get network based faxing so they'll get it right to their email and it arrives as a PDF. And another benefit is uh, because the asterisk platform is a full-fledged uh, voice over IP PBX if you want it to be, uh, you could evaluate that for your organization. We could start with a phone here or there and it gives you a good way to ramp it up and see if that will work uh, for your company. As you can see here, uh, what we're proposing is a price of $6,987 and change. And that includes a basic installation and enough training so that you could set up those faxes yourself. Once we install the solution, the use of the phone lines is pretty transparent. Uh, but you will, I'm sure, uh, are going to want to add and move and uh, delete fax numbers as the organization changes over the years. Now for the future, uh, some of the things that Asterisk provides as a phone system platform that you guys could probably benefit from would be the web-based configuration, which you'll get a flavor of when you're working with the faxes. It uh, has uh, built-in call reporting. It has uh, a variety of different conferencing features, including Meet Me conferencing, so you're able to set up a conference room and have everyone call in and you know you have conferencing. Uh, it can do call, re call recording. Uh, it can dial for some applications if you guys have any of those. And then it also, from an individual user perspective, adds some great flexibility with Find Me, Follow Me routing, which is basically uh, you program in something that says maybe my desk phone rings for four seconds. If I don't answer it, it continues to ring my desk phone and my cell phone. Uh, if you don't answer it either, it ends up at your voicemail back at the office, which is kind of neat. Um, one thing I don't have listed on here, but that's a significant benefit, is when somebody leaves you a voicemail, you can have that sent to you as an email as well. It's kind of a cool feature. Uh, also, uh, if you do decide to use this as a platform in the future, you're not locked into a particular manufacturer of phones. Now, our, our favorite is the Astra line of phones because they have the best integration and tools for us to work with, and they have a variety of different phones that you could use. Uh, and they'll actually be somewhat familiar because uh, a lot of those phones that Astra provides were based on uh, Nortel designs because they bought uh, some of Nortel's uh, phone designs maybe 10 years ago. Uh, you could also use some IP soft phones if you like. And then we also have the ability to add 
uh, analog ports, uh, although you have 24 at the one location. If you need one in another location, you can add that just to your little analog adapter device. Now, one thing that often comes up is, well, this asterisk, it's uh, open source software. I don't want to deal with uh, shareware or something that's experimental. Uh, what the fact is, though, is that this platform has been in development since the late 90s, and hundreds and hundreds of companies are using this as their phone uh, system platform. But probably more telling is there's hundreds of companies that are using it to provide hosted, comp hosted phone services to potentially thousands and thousands of uh, different companies. Uh, it's very solid, and uh, it is open, uh, open source software, which means that if you use it in your development of a new platform, you have to release it as open source. So there's a lot of different variations that have come up from the software, uh, and that's not because it doesn't work. It works really well. Uh, and what you'll find, because there's this uh, whole ecosystem built around the product, that your procurement costs are lower, and then your support costs are lower as well. Uh, thank you very much, and please uh, let us know if you have any questions. Uh, give me a call at 630-734-7328. This is Bob Langes from Medlin Communications.